this is at least five-year-old webbing that I got off a random guy I met who's on slackline.com. I had it sewn at an upholstery shop that does like, uh, you know, convertible tops for cars. So this is like not industrial bar tacking. Um, it's got a couple of, of uh, burrs in it, which is probably where it's gonna break. I'd guess it's gonna break right here. And then additionally, one side of it, I've just tied in a single overhand knot. So this is the worst possible thing you would ever use to slackline upon. Old webbing, sewn horribly, tied in a knot, with some nicks in it, really bad idea. All right, and now through the magic of time travel, we actually have the sling all hooked up in my tension cell rig here. Everything in this rig is rated for at least 10,000 pounds or more brake strength, so there's no way anything but the sling itself is gonna break. And ideally, the sling should break at a nice low number, like say 1,000. Meter's reading 2,000 pounds and this thing's still holding. Um, maybe pan over here with the camera now. So honestly, I'm 155 pounds. I'm not strong enough to break this thing by myself. And we didn't bring anyone else to the beach today except my camera person who has to hold the camera. So I think today we're, uh, we're defeated by the sling, but on the other hand, emboldened by the fact that even this piece of crap can take 2,000 pounds of pressure. 